as promised, how to sharpen a knife. All right, we have three grinds, a rough grind, intermediate grind, and a smooth or fine grind. We're gonna start off with a belt sander that has 180 grit sandpaper. Then we're gonna to move to a Bartex wheel and then a cotton wheel that has buffing compound on it. The 180 grit sandpaper is going to grind the edge back. Uh, the edge of a dull knife looks like this. We're gonna grind that little section off back to, a, to an, a nice point, nice edge. But what that does is leaves a burr, uh, which is where the, it pushed the metal off, but it didn't come all the way off. And it looks like little saw teeth on the end. I'm gonna hit it with the Bartex wheel, and that's gonna soften that burr up for when we hit it on the cotton wheel with the buffing compound on it. That's gonna take that soft burr off and leave a very sharp edge that can cut paper. All right, so what you don't see in this shot is that I already have my respirator on. Uh, you saw my, my reading glasses that I got down at the Kroger's. Uh, just the, you know, $5 reading glasses. Uh, you just want something, anything to protect your eyes uh, and to protect your lungs. You, you can get, uh, like, we have a welding helmet at the shop that we just took the the dark lens out of. It's just got a clear lens. You know, any, anything to protect yourself. I use the reading glasses because I can't see uh, very well up close when I have my contacts in. Uh... All right, so this is the 180 belt grind. Um, notice I'm not going fast, but I'm not going slow. I'm just kinda, kinda doing a medium, intermediate speed. You don't wanna go slow because you don't want to run the risk of grinding a valley or a, a divot in the metal, which can happen and is really hard to get out. I do about three passes on each side, as you've know, and you may have, may have noticed. Um, if I, if it needs more, then I'll do it. Uh, but more often than not, it just needs three passes. And I'll I'll usually check each side. I'll check the first side to make sure that there's a uniform grind. Then I'll check the second side, just like that, to also check to make sure there's a uniform grind. But but more importantly, I'm, I'm making sure that I can see the burr all the way down the edge of the blade because that means that I've ground the blade enough and it doesn't need any more grinding. It's ready to go on to the Bartex wheel to soften the burr up and then the cotton wheel to take that burr completely off and have, have a sharp, sharp blade. Um, I've got a backing plate behind the belt right there bolted onto the, the saw or the, 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 the machine uh, you don't have to use a backing plate I, I like to use a backing plate um, because I think it gives a an easier grind um, if you don't have a backing plate you'll you'll the blade can be uneven it's e or it's easier to make the, the edge of the blade uneven whereas a backing plate keeps it pretty flat and and uh, pretty even all the way through but you don't have to use a backing plate like for years I, I didn't have a backing plate at all and, and uh, a backing plate gives you a flat grind whereas not having a backing plate you're pushing in on that belt just a little bit and it causes you to have a convex edge uh, and both are fine you know uh, and, and you know there, there are a lot of people that prefer a flat grind a lot of people that prefer the convex grind um, it's all a matter of personal choice, um, but you know don't don't stress too much if you don't have that backing plate. Uh, you don't want to push too much pressure onto the 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 belt there because you can burn the blade, which is not good. Um, and you want to pay particular close attention to the tip, just to uh, ease up on the pressure as you get towards the tip there. All right, so now I'm moving on to. Uh, the second and third step, I do both of them back to back. The bear takes wheel, you know, I, I usually hit hit the knife edge on it one time per side, and it softens it up enough to where I can go to the cotton wheel. And I'll hit I'll hit it on the cotton wheel with the buffing compound. I'll I'll, I'll do uh, five passes on the one side, 
five passes on the other side. Then one pass, one pass, and one pass again. And the whole time I'm checking the burr against the light. You can see it if you hold it at, at a certain angle. Uh, the, pretty much the angle that I'm holding it to grind or to, to, to hit it on the cotton wheel. That angle will give you, make make it where you can see the burr. Um, and you can see it coming off too. It's, uh, it's cool. Okay, all right, right there. I have my ring on the, through this whole process, which I, I never do. Um, it's a, it's just a no-no. Uh, no jewelry at all when you're grinding. You know, when you're running any kind of machine, just take the jewelry off. Uh, on the more, uh, the, the, the bigger machines, uh, like a mach machine shop machine, like a, a metal machine or a lathe, you know, you can, if, if you get a piece of jewelry caught in the machine, it, it can rip your finger off or rip your hand off, your arm off, you know, your face off. No. Uh, it, it can do a serious amount of damage, permanent uh, life-altering damage. Just don't do it. Um, all right, so the buffing compound is absolutely essential to the cotton wheel. And it, it, it doesn't really particularly matter what kind of buffing compound. I mean, you just go to, go to Home Depot and get whatever compound they have, you know, stainless steel compound or multi-purpose compound or, or whatever. It'll be near the cotton wheels. Um, but what that does, the cotton wheel by itself is not abrasive enough to take off the burr. Uh, so you put the compound on it and it makes it a little more abrasive. Also, but the, the cotton wheel with the compound on it is not abrasive enough to take the burr off that, that gets left after the 180 grit sandpaper grind. That's why you have to have the bare tex wheel. It's abrasive enough to soften the burr and then the cotton wheel with the buffing compound on it will take off that soft burr. So that's why you have to have that step. It's a real, real easy process, real simple process. You know, rough grind. Um, a rough grind leaves a burr. You want to soften that burr with an intermediate grind. And then you want to take off the soft burr with a fine grind. Anybody can do this. Um, well, anybody can try, at least. Uh, it, you know, practice makes perfect. You can, you can do this with... It, it does take, you know, a little bit of money up front, but, but not a whole lot. Uh, you can get a sand, a grinder machine, grinder belt for um, a belt grinder. There it is. <laughs> for 60 bucks plus tax at Harbor Freight. And I imagine that you probably pick up a similar model at Home, Home Depot or Lowe's. And I'm sure you can get a big bench grinder just like this one. Um, almost said a wordy dirt there. Uh, get a bench <laughs> grinder, like well, similar to this one. I don't, I don't know if you can get you know a, a bell saw, which is what that is. Um, but you can get uh, whatever Home Depot has, and they're probably about as cheap as the the belt grinders. And so you know with. 200 bucks, you go buy you, buy you a belt grinder, a bench grinder, um, belts, Bearteks wheels, cotton wheels, and buffing compound. And there you go. You can sharpen your own kitchen knives. And not only that, but this, this is a similar process to um, like sharpening chainsaw, uh, not chainsaw, uh, um, lawnmower blades, or axes, or hatchets, you know, this, this, they all kind of have the same process of a rough grind, intermediate grind, and a, a, a soft grind, uh, but you can do this, it's, just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of thought, and, you know, experimentation, but you can do it, just 
please be careful. <laughs> but that's it. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, I hope you like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already done it. Uh, share it with your friends. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time.